But today I wanted to show you some of the plants in our children's garden that are performing quite well even though it has been so incredibly hot. And the first plant I wanted to show you is the cat's whiskers. You can see here we've got a lot of growth. We've also got a lot of buds that are starting to come out. But the specific thing I wanted to show you is the actual flower. And you can see how the plant gets its name. If you look down here at the bloom, you can see the cat's whiskers that come out from each flower and that really is fun. This has been fun for all of the kids that have come out here to the studio gardens to see why the plant gets its name. Well another plant that's named after a cat is the cat mint and it is also looking just beautiful right now in the heat. You can see we've got a nice flush of this kind of purplish blue bloom and then we also have the nice gray foliage on it and this plant doesn't even know it's been such a hot summer. Now here in the island in the middle of our children's garden we have several plants that were in the Proven Winter series and they've actually been performing quite well for us. The first one here is the Calibercoa or Million Bells and this is cherry pink and you can see it's just filled with a flush of these wonderful dark pink flowers. It just looks like a little miniature petunia here and has spread out quite well and is withstanding the heat as well. Now one of the plants that isn't really blooming that much right now is our argyranthemum and you can see here we've just got the plant. Now we've deadheaded this and actually we should get another flush of bloom in the fall after the weather cools off and even so, if it's not blooming the nice green plant looks good right now. Now one of them that we're really impressed with is the taurinia or monkey flower. Now this, the name of this one is actually summer wave and it was basically um, reported to be very tolerant of heat and you can see here that this has proved true. It has spread out kind of as a small annual ground cover in this area well, and you can see that the plant is just absolutely covered with these beautiful blue flowers so this has definitely proven to be quite a winner in our summer heat. Well, the last plant that I wanted to show you is over here behind the gazebo and that is the Bengal Tiger Canna. Now this plant catches your eye when you enter the gardens because of this variegation on the leaves. It is absolutely quite striking. We've got a little bit of shade here from the gazebo and we don't have any scorching on the leaves at all so this has been quite a performer. And in addition to the foliage, we also have a very nice orange bloom at the top.